This is the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition OLED Switch. This thing is absolutely gorgeous, and we're gonna do an unboxing here for you today. Bob, one of the two brothers that own nostalgic video games, ran into one of these in the wild, and he is a massive Legend of Zelda fan, and he couldn't pass up the opportunity. So thank you, Bob, for letting me be the first to open this up and screw around with your brand new expensive console. Now, these OLED boxes are strange to me. I don't know why them being like vertical is is off-putting to me just like console boxes should be like horizontal like 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 this right like i i don't know i don't know maybe that's just like some sort of like preconceived notion i have in my mind that i need to dispense with but on the front we have some beautiful tears of the kingdom art uh the game is not out yet uh which i find strange that they would do the special edition console before the game even releases see it even says here special edition game not included i would have expected them to like include a download code or something you know kind of like how uh, a lot of games you know if you buy a special edition console or or buy like the special edition version of the game it comes with a code that like as dlc is released you'll get them free so like you they could have given you a code that would have given you the game free on launch day um but it's also Nintendo, so, you know. Really, the only picture of the actual Switch itself on the front of the box is, you know, maybe maybe a third of it, a quarter, a third of it there. On the back is where you get most of the product shots. You can see the kickstand that has, like, the, the spot-varnished, I'm guessing that spot-varnished design, the Joy-Cons, the Switch all set up, and, yeah, just cool little pictures. The deco on this looks awesome. I'm actually a really big fan of the Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom just art design language mostly because of this this is the breath of the wild special edition wii u which we didn't actually get a special edition switch for breath of the wild because technically it first released on the wii u so we got this this gamepad just looks gorgeous with all that metallic gold detailing but let's stop screwing around and i'll crack this thing open for you guys Alrighty, so these weird vertical boxes kind of open up down here you got all your legalese there and then I'm guessing that's the console serial number. Need help. Um, yes. That's kind of neat. There's just a nice little concise uh, setting up instructions there. Once you open it up, you're greeted with this. So we have the actual OLED Switch console here and the two Joy-Cons displayed very prominently in just sort of this simple white box here. So we'll take the switch out first in this nice little bag Ooh, that beautiful OLED screen uh, when the OLED was like announced and sort of first came out it was kind of a why do I need to upgrade thing but really these OLED screens are beautiful they're a major upgrade especially if you see it side by side with an original switch it is worth the price of admission, especially if you're picking up a really cool special edition like this. Uh, one thing to note is that these screens scratch super easy, so you always, always, always want to pick up a screen protector with one of these. I will not be risking it. On the back here, we do have this really nice, it's not spot varnished, it's like reverse spot varnished. So it's like this matte overlay on top of the sort of standard, like the lighter stuff is the standard plastic. And that is really, really nice. That looks really cool. It's like, I don't know, it's like crop circles. That looks super cool. And with the OLED, it has the big boy stand that can sit any which way. Major improvement over that standard little kickstand. So we'll set that off back there so I don't screw it up. Next up, we have arguably uh, some of the main events, the two Joy-Cons. These just look gorgeous. That beautiful, like, bright gold paint contrasted with the matte white and the matte dark green on the right and left, respectively that like metallic sheen that gets interrupted by the matte paint that's just like really really slick and pretty and on the back each of them have like these little insignias hieroglyphics kind of in that same metallic gold paint 
And I mean, they're Joy-Cons, so uh, automatic points lost for that. But as far as Joy-Cons go, uh, these are probably some of the coolest they've done. A lot of special edition Joy-Cons kind of boil down to just being a special color, but these ones really go out of their way to go with both the game and the special edition Switch and th they're just really, really cool. The best Joy-Cons that they've done have been for this, and then they did, was it Skyward Sword? Got the, those blue ones. Those are gorgeous. So this just looks awesome. So we'll check that out. Beautiful. I really do appreciate uh, one of the things that Nintendo's kind of done with every single pair of Joy-Cons in the Switch Besides that original first release that had the two gray Joy-Cons, they're asymmetrical. One of them's one color, one's the other. And even though both of these are gold, the accent colors are different. We have that matte green and the matte white, and that looks fantastic. After that, we take out this tray that has, looks like instructions or something in there. Okay, so we could have pulled that out. Yeah, okay, health and safety information. Then we've got the rest here. Uh, of course, the most important part now being the dock. Oh, man. Just look at that. That is beautiful. Man, the light's kind of reflecting back into the camera and overexposing it. But, man, yeah, that is the same uh, metallic gold and matte white as on the Joy-Cons. And you just have this beautiful art deco you got the triforce there turn the lights down a little bit so it's not as reflecting directly into the lens yeah just look at that that is beautiful i didn't even notice this on the box but there are these you know i don't know how i would describe them three-dimensional sort of beveled raised as techie like statue design it's got like these heads, there's eyes and like scales, of hair or something. I don't know. I know very little about Zelda lore, but that just looks fantastic because you've got the gold and then you also have the layer with that sort of very, very light gray ring around it. That looks so cool. On the back of the console, we have a little bit of continuation of that sort of gold detailing and we've got the standard OLED sort of back comes off AC adapter HDMI out and an ethernet cable you got your vent there and sort of this texture here uh, I do like this design much more than the standard switch dock just because this clips in and you don't really have to worry about it snapping quite as much and it has a really nice spot for the cables to come out you got your two USB ports on the side which is an improvement over them being back here yeah this is definitely the coolest part of this entire set this is what will always be that kind of statement piece sitting on your entertainment center or a coffee table or a mantle and you'll always have this beautiful display here if you have your switch docked or not so this is just fantastic and is gorgeous uh, I'll hold off slotting it in for the first time until we finish looking at everything else Alrighty, the rest of what's in the box, we get our Nintendo branded HDMI cable, a Nintendo brand power supply, which is super important since the docks won't work if you don't have that original Nintendo one. And then we've got the standard Joy-Con grip. This is just the standard plastic one with some metal assembly, just grip. It does nothing else. It doesn't have the charging port to charge the, uh, Joy-Cons while they're on here. Important to point out because I much prefer those ones that charge. You wouldn't think much, but it's a huge added quality of life benefit. But you know, it's uh, I, I cannot play with Joy-Cons if they aren't on this. Uh, usually I just use a wireless GameCube controller because my hands are just way too big for Joy-Cons, but I am still glad you get one of those. And the last thing in the box are these two matching white Joy-Con bumpers uh, to give you those shoulder buttons when you've got them in their sort of individual state. Uh, they've got this really nice wrist strap here, which if you have any of these, you know, these are, aren't different in any way, really. They're just a, a new color and they look really nice and I'm sure they will look fantastic on those Joy-Cons. And yeah, that is everything you get in the box.
Let's slot this puppy in. And that's really all there is to it. The Switch OLED works exactly like a standard Switch, so you can play all of your same games and even log in with your same Nintendo account. Personally, I think it's worth the upgrade for the OLED, especially if you can find one of these to the Kingdom Special Editions, because, man, it's gorgeous, and that updated screen and longer battery life is... It's, it's worth it. Let me know down in the comments how excited you are for Tears of the Kingdom, and while you're down there, let me know which of the Legend of Zelda games is your favorite. Personally, it's gotta be late to the past. I don't think any other Legend of Zelda game has reached that height for me that I've played. Thanks again to Bob for letting me open this up on camera, and to Nostalgic Video Games in general, because without them, we wouldn't be able to do anything like this. If you think these two Breath of the Wild Zelda and Link statues are really cool, they also light up on the bases and like on, on his bow, arrow, uh, and the, the data pad thingy. They light up, it's really cool. We actually carry these at Nostalgic Video Games, our brick and mortar store, and soon, our online store. ShopNVG.com is almost up and running. We have pretty much every game that is on the floor in Nostalgic Video Games inventory. We're working on our categories, getting all the images set up and everything for you guys, so you can have a great experience shopping online with us. If you're looking for used games, systems, accessories, all of that, we'll have it. As well as distributor items like new cables, third-party controllers, and these figures right here. We're not up and running just quite yet, but when we do, there will be fanfare all over this YouTube channel about it. It feels like we're starting off a little small, but in reality, we have thousands of games already inventoried and ready to be sold. But then, you think about all the games we don't have inventoried in our warehouse, all of the systems, figures, vintage toys, game room goods, posters, all of that stuff will eventually make its way onto our website as well. I cannot wait to show you guys this website because we've put so much work into it and we are super excited to get games and systems and accessories to you guys for a good price all the way across the world. Thanks for tuning in to the Nostalgic Network. Don't miss our next video by hitting subscribe. Maybe hit that join button. There's some cool little perks there if you want to be a channel member for $2.99 a month. And I'll see you guys next time.